I got an invitation to join Snap. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Oh man, no. Oh man. I'm pretty sure there's people that are excited. But <laughs> Rex fans are tight. <laughs> okay. Four guys! Let's go! Yes! This is cool. This is cool. Yes! Finally! Jesus Christ. We went from happy to depressed. <laughs> Haven't played it. Will I play it on Switch? Probably not. What is this? Um... Famicom Detective Club, the missing heir, and Famicom Detective Club, the girl who stands Famicom behind. Famicom Detective deep cuts Club, from Nintendo history, are coming to North America deep for cups. the first time. Yes, I'll pass. Thank you. So this is right. This is Dynasty Wars, right? Samurai Warriors. Same difference. I'm pretty sure someone's gonna be like, "No, it's not." I pass. In Samurai Warriors Five, slashing its way onto Nintendo. They're trying to get that. Um. That. Hyrule Warriors uh, money. They're like, hey, look, we did good. Let's keep it going. The vast world of Fadiel beckons. Enemy encounters, as well as wow. the new mini game Ring Ring Land. Ring Ring Land. What the? What? Legend of Mana will launch on Nintendo Switch <laughs> June 24. Yo, this is not for me, but <laughs> I respect it. Legend of Mana. I'm pretty sure there's some RPG fans that are hype. This is what Monster Hunter. Oh man, that Smash news kind of threw me off, man. Another character, well, this guy, um, Sephiroth, was a character I wasn't expecting, but I was happy for. I I'm not a Xenoblade guy, that's why. I'm not a Xenoblade guy. I haven't tried the game, so maybe if I try the game to get deep in the story, it'd be more my swing, but again, this just looks pretty cool. I'm not a huge fan of Monster Hunter. It's it's like a, 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 a game that I've... Uh, again, an empty hole <laughs> when it comes to Monster Hunter series. I last time I, like, I played Monster Hunter was like on the maybe the PSP. I think. You know us. Why did he like break? Just to oh, let's go, Mario Golf, bro. Let's go. Tee off on the latest installment. Mario Golf series. Let's go, bro. Super Rush. Wind and terrain. Study the Take win your time to win and to Come on, it's a golf game. <laughs> you ain't got to tell us. <laughs> Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters. I was going to say, just show us. Waluigi. Natural scenery. Bowser. Okay. And a scan okay. that lets you examine a Oh! Terrain. I thought Mario was about to pull out the sniper. These for features <laughs> can help you ace your shots. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls. Oh my by god, no. A controller <laughs> no. Like a golf club. I mean, this. Controller if if it's. Character swing in the game, letting you easily if it works right. If it works game. right, I'm with it. If it works right. What is that? On what is this one? That, there are several modes with new elements that truly bring the heat to Mario Golf. <laughs> what the fuck? Luigi. <laughs> Always your turn. Everyone tees off at the same time. <laughs> you'll race through the course to reach your ball. That's funny. Look at another one of the things at play. Make use of dashes <laughs> and special shots to beat the competition. This is fun. This looks fun. Oh, this looks did fun. we mention story mode? As a me character, <laughs> you'll start out as a rookie and develop your golfing skills. Oh my God. Okay. Various mushroom temptations. Okay. Mario Golf. That's cool. That's a good surprise. Mm -hmm. And then it had the single player mode too. Forward to this game Yo, Yoshi running on an egg on a golf course. Give it Let's to me. Move on Give it to more me. Nintendo Switch. Return to the unforgiving world of Pandora in Tales from Tales the Tales of the Borderlands. Okay. Hyperion Lackey. 32 of Capcom's most beloved Capcom, arcade okay. classics are coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, Rewind okay. Gameplay, Adjust Link is also available. Street Fighter 2? Scratch that nostalgic itch when Capcom Arcade Stadium launches later arcade today. Arcade Stadium? Oh, today. Wait, did we know about Rains. that? Rains. As a zombie. Stub the zombie. Get enough of build oh, your God. zombie horde and take revenge on the city. Stub the zombies back. Undead hours. <laughs> Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Who wants to pre-order this? <laughs> oh, it's God. It's Travis Touchdown versus Assassins. Wait, Wait. aliens? Versus... Aliens have invaded what? Earth. Hold up. What? Is this even the right game? <laughs> anyway, no more Heroes 3? Annihilating an 
<laughs> Yo, No More Heroes 3 is just as weird as the guy reading it. Terminate demons in he heaven. As above, so below. Neon white. Why do they what is need this? Assassins in heaven <laughs> to do someone's dirty work. Okay. Save so demons are your soul card. Whoa! What is this? Bro, what? Bro, what is this? A card? Uh. This is a card game? I can't tell what's going on. There's cards. There's running. And then there's like clicking sounds and people are just like disappearing. Neon white. Uncover heaven's mysteries in neon white. Coming to Nintendo Switch. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The DC superhero girls are here to save the day. <laughs> hey, what the My fuck? Name's Barbara Gordon. What is going on with this direct? Oh my god. New gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and backup. This is Supergirl. No. She's super strong and has heat vision. My daughter would probably love this breath. though. Also have our school lives and trust me, there's never a dull moment at Metropolis. Oh my High god. School. Metropolis so High School. Nice to get out of class and do some shopping downtown with my besties. Ooh, and maybe take some photos <laughs> to share on Superstar Post while we're at it. Hey, hey, I got a comment already. Nice. Ooh, and I definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. Uh-oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming. But when Justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. What the fuck is this? Just got to make sure no one figures out our secret identities. <laughs> DC Superhero Girls Team Power heroically Oh, Nintendo God. Switch, June 4th. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with this direct? Ready the juice cannons and prepare for battle. What is this? Oh, um, plants versus zombies. Is that brains? Complete edition. What does that mean? All the games? This looks like if, if you play plants versus zombies, you're excited, but if you never play plants versus zombies, this is not getting you into it. I'm telling you that now. It's like they designed this Nintendo Direct for kids. That's what it feels like. Oh my god, what? On the Switch? What? Yo, they're literally like digging in the well. And this is a game that you have to pay for? Oh my god. Oh no. Bro, who's pre-ordering this, bro? Oh my god, why? Super Mario themed items are coming to your island. Okay. I'm paying attention now. <laughs> Luigi! Fifth anniversary themed items are coming to the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. Luigi, Waluigi. Familiar items like the Super Mushroom and the Question Block can be ordered in game as furniture items. Oh my god. So place them however and wherever you'd like. That's cool. You can also place two warp pipes. That's cool. Then use them to travel between locations on your island. Hey, why not try recreating the Mushroom Kingdom? A free update for the game launches February 25th. At least there's a free update. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Okay, that's cool. Keep an eye on the official Animal Crossing Twitter account for the latest information. Bro, this, uh... We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. Yeah, so, this, uh, Nintendo Direct? How was that? These... What idea is this? What is this? Fire Emblem? He leaves us no recourse! Swords! Oh! One of those, um... I forgot. Octopath? And burnt Do this safely. Every last one of us. Project Triangle Triangle. Far, far away lies the continent of Norzilia. 
Noiselia. of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. The constant. <laughs> Anybody bet they leave the, the um, name that Project resources. Triangle. Eventually ignited into a great conflict known as the Salt Iron War. Though the salt hostilities iron. ceased with an uneasy truce, decades <laughs> oh, later God. the flames of war. Our benefit, you say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Battle station and okay. equipped weapon. The this is more of a fire emblem than long-range um, weapons Octopath. such as bows and arrows. Thus, your right? I, I could be wrong, but Octopath was just uh, yeah. Octopath was almost like um, Final Fantasy VII. That's why I was digging it as far as the fighting style. Project Triangle okay, Strategy, finally. a brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix, will launch in 2022. Please Why are you showing us now? Oh my God, Nintendo. After this presentation, a demo version of this game will be available okay. to download on Nintendo eShop. Okay, cool. And in the future, we'll conduct a survey to gather player feedback. We look forward okay. to hearing your The demo mode is coming out. Demo. I do a video on the demo. Why not? Please look forward to future Jesus Christ. If, if, if it's coming out in 22, 2022, why why are we learning okay. about it now? Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Thank you. Come on, let's get to the the Calling good stuff, man. Right? All hunters. Do you have what it takes? Calling all hunters. What is this? Uh, Borderlands again? No, this is um Star Wars, no? What is this? Star Wars Hunters? Okay. Okay. Star Wars Hunters is a competitive free to play online game set between Free to Play and Seven. Clash in this third person shooter coming to the Third Person Netflix Shooter twenty twenty one. Free to play. Okay. Right, let's, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Take one. Knockout City? What we the fuck is this? For different reasons. My hands. With this, <laughs> I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. <laughs> <laughs> what is this it's game? Corgan want new weapon. In Knockout City, I'm like a kung fu master. Knockout City. <laughs> Bro, what is this? <laughs> is this is a dodgeball game. What? Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is more my alley. Knockout City. EA. Okay. This looks dialectical. The fight for survival starts now. What the fuck Hang is on it? tight. Because you're all going to play a little game of fate for me. From the creators of the Danganronpa and Zero Escape series comes a fight for what? your life. Literally. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the twelve of you, known as the Go Getters Club, must now survive this Go game of fate at all club. costs. The end of your journey. Show the, the gameplay. I want to see the two D gameplay. End club, venturing onto Nintendo Switch, May twenty eighth. Okay, we don't have to wait long for that. It's not too too long. That sounds interesting. Wield the power Hades. of Olympus with the physical release of Hades. Physical release of Hades. Hades. The critical physical release on Nintendo Switch. This does this not need to be in a Nintendo Direct. assist you on your Come journey on. out of the And let's not cool. forget the game itself, offering dozens of hours of exhilarating action paired with cool, a compelling story. Cool, but we don't story. we don't need this during a Nintendo Escape Direct. The underworld again or for the first time with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. Three deadly action games, one master. What? <laughs> oh, let's go. Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. Yes. Oh my god. And Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge are coming to Nintendo Switch. Who are going to beat these games? Ninja Gaiden <laughs> Master Collection. No one's going to beat these games. <laughs> More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors. What? More battles? 
DLC for Age of Calamity? Did not see that coming. Spoilers, bruh. What? Expansion pass. <laughs> Not again. Jesus Christ. Expanded roster. Shit. Can't read everything. Hello. Yes! I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Oh, no. Unfortunately, we don't have anything to share right now. We apologize. Come on. Really? Development is proceeding smoothly, and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. Information now, later we'll this year. Information to longer. later this year. We're getting information. While you're all waiting, however... This Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword? Yup. <laughs> what? Let's go. This is like... They're like, hey, why you guys wait for, you know, the most open Zelda game ever? The sequel to the most open um, Zelda game ever. Let's get the most non-open Zelda game and let you play that. <laughs> I haven't beaten this game, so maybe, maybe I give it a, another shot on the um, the Switch. I mean, it's a Zelda game. I'm gonna get it, <laughs> but it, it still feels like uh. I, I didn't I didn't really like um, Skyward Sword when I played HD. it back on the Wii. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console and now it's coming to Nintendo Switch. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a control scheme in which yeah. players would use the Wii Remote Plus controller as a sword and the Nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. Yeah, but can you use it? And we've recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. I don't want to play like that, though. The what Joy -Con if I don't? controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. You can perform other actions like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of Can I play attention to combat. with my pro controller. But we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. After mulling okay. over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Really? Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. To swing no. to the right, to the left, or diagonally, just I tilt mean, the stick in the respective direction. Maybe. I could see that. I could see that. Maybe. Here's something else we've been working on. Special oh! oh! The right okay. controller is themed after the Master Sword. Yes, the yes, yes, yes. The, the, shield, the shield, the shield, the shield. Yes, yes. Legend we know, of Zelda we know, Skyward Sword. That looks a game fire, bro. The earliest story in the Legend of Zelda timeline details the events around the creation of the Master Sword itself. We hope that people who played the original game on Wii and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering the origins of the Legend of Zelda. The Legend of Zelda July. HD okay. launches July 16th. Okay. Following this Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to pre-order the game on Nintendo eShop. And the specially okay. designed Joy-Con controllers will launch on the game's release date at your local retailers. And they're already sold out. already know this, but The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game, and it was still following the established conventions mm -hmm. of The Legend of Zelda. However, it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines or ran, even the concept of collecting items to upgrade gear. 
I hope those of you who've played The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will give this game a try as well. Yeah, it's a different game though. Don't... <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that to customers. This is a different game, bro. Just look forward to Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. I'm excited, though. I'm excited. Well, what did you think? That's cool. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword has been optimized for Nintendo Switch. That's good. That's it good. That's includes good. intuitive motion controls and button controls by tilting the right control stick. Okay. The next game will be our last announcement for today. Please take a look at this. Last announcement. Not actual gameplay footage. So it's just a teaser trailer of some sorts. Splatoon! Splatoon 3! Post-apocalyptic Splatoon 3, all right? Bro, okay. Is this, this is Splatoon, yeah. Oh, buddy? Yeah, this is definitely Splatoon 3. There's no way that this is a DLC, right? There's no way. There's no way this is Splatoon 2 DLC. This is 3. Or uh, just, you know, Splatoon something, something. Jumping on that train. That picture. <laughs> oh man, I know Splatoon fans are going crazy right now. Yep. Platoon 3. Okay. There we go. This is what I wanted to see. Some action, bro. I'm not a big Splatoon guy. Because I didn't... Every time I played it, the controls kind of throw me off. I do enjoy the story mode, though. Like, the single player is pretty cool. I'm not a huge fan of the multiplayer, though. And I know that's why a lot of people play it. Back into the ink. 20... 2022. 2022. So far away, man. Why are they letting us know about these 2022 games when this supposed to be like a 2021? What you've just seen is the latest installment in the Splatoon series, Splatoon 3. Okay. This game is scheduled to launch in 2022, so it'll be a while. Yep. We hope you'll stay tuned. We're going to have a Switch Pro by then. At a later time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Today, we showed you a sampling of games coming to Nintendo Switch. A variety of games are in development. And okay. we look forward to sharing more news with you in the future. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Bro, bro, bro. The Star Wars games I'm excited for, even though we didn't see anything of it. Fall Guys is a must-buy on the Nintendo Switch. I'm hoping that we get cross um, progression across um, multiple platforms. Because that would suck. And we don't have that right now with PC and PlayStation 4. So hopefully that is a thing when the game does drop. The same thing with um, Apex Legends. I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot. I give it a shot on PS4. And I, I wasn't a huge fan of Apex. But again, I, I got to jump in with the guys. And I think on Nintendo Switch, it being, you know, my system that I take to the studio, out the studio, 
me having that type of game outside of the of the studio might be the thing because right now you know the P4 stays in the studio. I don't I don't I don't take it out. So that's pretty cool. Mario Golf must buy. I'm hyped about that. That that's that's cool that we get into golf and Zelda. The Skyward Sword is pretty cool too. But nothing again. Nothing in this was particularly like hitting me with 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 special dope sauce news and uh, i mean this is nintendo being nintendo this is a regular nintendo direct to me usually the nintendo directs get me hyped there's usually something in the nintendo direct that gets me hyped but this one was kind of was like 50 50 every time we got something we got something that i didn't like so i liked it it didn't blow my socks off um, I'm, I'm pretty upset that we didn't get like a full blowout of Zelda content and stuff coming this year because it is Zelda's anniversary as well as um, nothing about Pokemon. They didn't say, hey, we got a Pokemon Direct or Pokemon News coming later next week with Pokemon Day and all that. They just said, hey, you know, more news coming soon. So a little let down on that. But I mean, we got we got stuff coming. We got stuff coming. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool direct. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I ain't told comments, so let's have a conversation about the direct down there. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this all the time. Reactions, trailer reaction reviews, let's plays, guide videos. I do it all here on the channel. If you're feeling the vibes, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video to recommend it so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next reaction video. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one